that. Hello everyone, and welcome once again to Deadhead Fred for the PSP, where it's time to go tiki on these fools. If I even know where to go. Much like everything else, I don't remember where I was last. I don't even know if I'm going the right way or not. Maybe I'm not. I do not know that you go here with the tiki heads. This might not be the right area. I might be going backwards, actually. In fact, I think I might be. Okay, cool. It is pretty neat how they spawn in out of nowhere, though. I wonder if I'm supposed to use this. Well, let's try it. You're doing the tiki dance. Huh. Weird. Here. Neat. So, I got some stuff. This is your reward, I think. You just go through those optional tiki head... Optional tiki head challenge and you get some stuff out of it. Cool, man. However, I will need to go back through it in order to return to my world. As it were. for you. you. Don't have to worry about it. Oh. Ah, crap. There you go, buddy. Oh, jeez. Have to fight a fellow. Yeah. Shit. That probably wasn't the best move for me. I probably have to go to the head of the jar.
preferably, of course. It seems the skull head is useful for most things around here. Huh. I can already activate it. Okay, what do you got here? Oh, I see. It just takes me here. That's interesting. That's quite interesting indeed. Freak. This is unfortunate, though. Dang, it. This is very, very unfortunate, though. Oh, there it is. What do you know? I found one. Now, let's see. Leave Old Hope Falls said that's where it was. Anyway, there seems to be a major mission here. Let me see if I can find it. Jenny, Jean's new groove. Bongo Club and convince her of your true identity. The Bongo Club in Old Hope Falls. She's been avoiding the park recently. If you wanted to find her, Fred, the Bongo Club's your best bet. Yes, the Bongo Club. Was I just there? I do not know. Let's see. It is an Old Hope. Oh, right there. Okay. So it was where I was. Fair enough. Don't mind me, I'm just heading into the bongo club. Trying to find my girl, apparently. I just need to know where she is. She's probably somewhere in here. Of course, if I need to take out rival ones, I should probably use this. Hmm. Yes, indeed. Take out that fire. I don't know if there's something special you need to do or not. And obviously that doesn't matter because I've already got enough heads, and, but still. Stuff fish. Okay, what is this? Something I gotta use this for? Yep, it would seem so. Fight fire with fire? Is that what I gotta do? Oh, jeez. What is this gasoline gonna do for me? I see. Maybe I gotta burn this, or not. I have no idea. I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, frick. Well, I'm getting killed is what I'm doing here. Look at the skeleton, baby. Skull bash. I'm sure as hell not gonna fight fair where they aren't. Just be messed up. What's up there? Wait. Ah, I see. It does make sense, I guess. Except for generating health very slowly. Except for generating health at all, I mean. How do you get through there? I do not know. I guess I'll have to find it the hard way. It'd be great if I could just kill him rather than do it that way. These oh. things just keep coming. It's time I start fighting fire with fire. Ah, okay. Now I'm understanding. Maybe it needed to be that way to be scripted. Okay. I need to set myself on fire, of course. Yes. I'm not allowed to set the, the huts on fire, which means I gotta do that. Yep, I hear a fire burning. Or not. I have no idea what I'm doing. To be honest. How do I do this? Okay, give me the fire, baby. Okay, cool. Darn it. Dig him. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing. I would assume I just gotta keep spitting fire out. Maybe I just gotta try to kill them with the fire. 
frick, I'm almost gonna die myself though. What the hell? I can't I admit you. I can't. Oh crap. I forgot how to use things. I forgot how to use things, damn it! You bastard. Okay, let's try that again. Uh oh. Well then. Should probably realize what head I'm using. like it was doing something and then it really wasn't. Am I supposed to set them on fire or their huts? I have no idea. Let's try setting them on fire first. My best bet, I think. I'll set them on fire first. At the very least, maybe it'll, get, it'll kill them faster. That'd be nice. Yeah, jeez. Unfortunately, the very the risk of setting myself on fire is oh too real. Okay. Take okay, it. Okay, cool. At least once I go to the center there, oh. I get set out. Nice. That is effective on them, isn't it? You know, when you can spare it. Oh shit. Because I couldn't quite get to the fire properly. Damn it. They're stubborn, aren't they? Uh oh. I'm losing health for some reason. Not sure why. Maybe I was still on fire. Ah, you son of a bitch. Maybe that's how I was losing health. How do I use things? I don't remember how to use things! I don't remember! It's been forever! Frick, okay. D-pad right, thank you. Holy shit. Actually, I already have this set up. Okay, that's setting me on fire, unfortunately. Whoa! Bastard. Setting me on fire myself, are you? Oh, oops. I guess you can't get more gasoline when you're already on fire. That would probably make the situation worse for you. A stupid idea in the first place. anymore after this point. At least those ones won't. But at least I got the heads that I needed first. What do we have here? 
more huts. Wonderful! Just what I needed. How delightful. At least I made a checkpoint. So that's cool. No, I did not mean to do that. Though that does technically restore my... Oh, come on. This to be very precise, doesn't it? Okay, let's burn some tiki huts. Burn in hell yourself. Damn it. This isn't very good for me. I'm just not taking them in seriously enough. The seriousness that I should be giving them, I think. Although, screw it. If I can try to avoid them and go straight for their huts. That would be better. Here you go. Enjoy the collapse. Oh, jeez. Why did I have to fall in water? Come on, man. That's bull crap, and you know it. Hang tight again. Okay, let's try this again. With gusto. Let's see what's in that tiki statue. Probably get some more trippy stuff. Of course, I gotta change the skull now. Which makes some sense, I suppose. Oh, there we go. Interesting. I'm not gonna lie, it's kinda funny. It's kinda real funny. It seems the skull face has the best advantage against them. It would also be nice if I started using these power moves that I've been accumulating. Because I honestly do not care for them. DHF figure Steiner. Besides, if I don't use them now, when will I? You do replenish your bar after a while. Your little bars. So you may as well use it before you lose it. Here you go. I can at least make the numbers a little fairer. Ah, come on! Come on! That's ridiculous, man. That's just ridiculous right there. It's so easy to fall over the ledge. Come on. You know, they don't have to worry about falling over the ledge because, you know, I'm a small fair man. It's messed up, man. It's not a fair world is what it is, but then again, that much is true from a plot perspective as well because of Pitt's control over the area. Maybe that's better for people. This just isn't fair. Oh, these aren't fair fights. Pitt wants to make it, maintain control through any means necessary. Even if it means using every cheap move he's got. Makes sense in that regard, I think. Better go towards the center then. Good okay, buddy. Thank you. Thank you for your patronage. I really appreciate it. Nice. Stuffed fish. Cool. I'm gonna rip your head off and take it for my trophy. Huh, what do we have here? You must have the tiki head of, of course. Shame you can't just do it automatically. Because it seems like a lot of the time you're better off using different heads. You know? What is this? Oh, okay. What is any of this? What was the purpose behind this? Oh, it's a lever. Idiot. At least I didn't fall down. That would have been very unfortunate, wouldn't it? Very unfortunate indeed. I would have been a little peeved off, to say the least. The jaw has been opened. That's lovely. No, you don't. Don't fall into the water again. It's instant death, man. We don't want that. We've had enough of that. What's over here? Okay, this looks important, so maybe I should go ahead and see what's in here. 
Oh, it's at the Tiki Bar. Cool. Let's just go ahead and see what's down here then. Oh, it's a bathroom. Awesome. Hey, buddy. Run and shine. Psst. Hey, pal, you want to make some quick cash? Now, now, wait. Don't freak out on me. It ain't what you're thinking. It's just, man, the drinks here are nasty. Anyways, I prefer something with a little more kick to it. Some of that. That good Boonies Moonshine usually does the trick. I'd be obliged if you could go out to the Boonies and pick me up a few charges of the good stuff. Sleazy urinal guy, the bathroom in the Bago Club, except... Just based on his name, you can tell he's a winner. That's why I will accept. Half a cup of toilet water. Oh, that's lovely. Half a cup of toilet water. I guess in Pittstown, the safest water you can drink is in the freaking toilet. Kinda sad, isn't it? Okay. Maybe I can find her in here. He seems to be remembering more of him, more of his memories little by little. But where is she? Where is she? Nice lava. Reminds me of that dining area where Mr. Incredible was eating with that, dining with that girl and, well, you know. Oh, great. Now we've got fire breaking out. Normally that would be a good thing because it might set the huts on fire, but in this case it's probably not going to be that simple, is it? Fantastic. Go into skeleton mode, I guess. Here you go, buddy. That's right. Give me your head. So that I can get ahead. I see. It's not set on fire, though. Ah, well. I can get some fire. If need be. I didn't mean I wanted to be set on fire. It's my mouth. I want some spicy food. Thank you. Your patronage. I'm 
on fire for you. There we go. That's more like it. Let's get the hell out of here. I think I've had it up to here with playing with little tiki's. I want to get this show on the road and progress the storyline already. There she is. Hello, Jean. Good to see you. Hiya, Jeannie. Oh, it's you. Thanks. Don't mind if I do. What do you want now? Damn it, Jeannie, I need you to believe me. W without your help, I'm gonna be stuck like this the rest of my miserable life. I want to. Believe me, I do. But why should I? It doesn't make any sense that you could be my Freddy. Freddy's dead. You'd have to find some way to prove it to me. You'd have to say or do something that only my Freddy could do. All right. Yeah. Put your hands together for the Dark Tones. Now the band will be back in just a little while. But right now, it's open mic time at the Bongo Club. Time for you fine citizens of Hope Falls to show us how talented you really are. Now come on, who's gonna be first? Don't be shy. I know. Sex. Right. I bet I'm known for my prowess as a lover. Well, yeah, if that's the only way I can prove that I am who I say I am, then... Waiter, check. No, you idiot. Sax. As in saxophone. Nobody could play the gobble pipe like my Freddy. Uh, Jeannie, I... Yeah, here's your man. Right here. Jeannie, what the hell are you doing? Stand up, sir. Who are you, and what are you going to do to entertain us on this fine evening? His name is... Fred, supposedly. He's gonna play us an original number on the sax if you've got one. Why, sure we do. Anytime you're ready, Freddy. Jenny, I can't do this. You can. And you will if you ever want me to believe your cock and bull story. So, uh, what's it gonna be? Geez. Come on up here, Fred. Your audience awaits. All right, let's do it. All right, I'll do it. You better be ready with a whopper of an apology when I'm done. Damn right. Oh, I didn't know if there was a mini game involved here. I didn't believe you. It's just that I thought you were dead. And you look so... Uh, different. Yeah, well... I've been through a lot. But don't sweat it, baby. I'm just glad we're a team again. If things are ever gonna get back to normal for me, for us, I'm gonna need your help. Oh, anything, Freddy. I'll tell you whatever I know. I need the scoop on your father. I can't remember a damned thing. I know he went missing, and I'm guessing he's probably... Dead? You can say it. I'm a big girl. I know the score. Just like I know Pitt was behind it. What we need is some solid evidence linking your father's death to Pitt. If I could only get a look at the body. You can. Dad's body turned up at the morgue downtown not long after you died. After you disappeared. I gotta have a look for myself. Freddy, they wouldn't let me in there, and I'm family. What chance do you have of seeing him? I'll tell you what. Why don't you leave that to me? You take care, Jeannie. I'll see you soon. How sweet. She actually believes him again. What a touching reunion, even if it was at the end of a saxophone. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to say that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like, hey there. What's cooking? And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life.
Peace out, have a good one, and hey, see you next time. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.